Hey, what's going on, Life Tech fam? Uh, we're here with another video. Today, we're going to be doing an alternator on a uh, 2007 um, RX350. And uh, I'm going to show you everything, all the steps to take out the alternator, put the new one back in, and uh, here we go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do to get to the alternator is pretty much access it. So you're going to take off this cover here. So you're going to take that cover off. Take off the beauty cover here. And then you're going to want to take off this front cover right here. So it's just a bunch of push pins. You just push that in and it should pop right out. And then after we get that in, I'll show you the next steps. So we're going to take off this cover here. And after you take off this cover, you're going to want to take off the fan or the uh, air hose uh, intake right here. This guy. So we'll take that off just so we can access the fan because you're going to have to take off the fan assembly in order to take out the alternator which is right here. So um, just disconnect this connector right here. Uh, electrical connector, just push the tab in on the side, pull it out and then we're going to take off this fan, this intake right here. Intake is just two tens, one here and one here. Once that's off, you can take off those bolts and take that out. Next, you have to take off the, the bottom part of the intake hose. So it's just one tin here, and then it loops down underneath the intake box, and you just pull it out. Let me show you guys. Once you take off this tin here, just put it aside on top, pull this out, and it just slides out like that. It's kind of tricky putting it back in, so remember where you took it out, and so you can uh, put it back easily. So now that, that these intake parts are out, you can start to take off your fan assembly here. Um, one bolt, one ten here, one ten here, and I'm pretty sure there's two tens on the bottom, so um, let's get to that. Okay, so um, after you get everything removed here, be very careful when you remove this hose from the, uh, the coolant intake. This part is plastic and breaks all the time, so be very gentle when you're turning this part here, just to get the hose broken. Broken loose, that is, not broken. So once it's broken, you can feel that the, uh, you just pull that off right there. Just so it's not in the way, and then after you can get the two tens on the bottom, which are pretty much parallel to the two ones on top, and uh, access it from the bottom. It's gonna be a splash cover. Okay, so here we are on the bottom of the car. There's a splash cover that you need to take off in order to get to the two tens on the side of the radiator here. Uh, there's a series of push pins right here, or actually pull out pins, I should say, and a couple tens. Ten here, ten here, all along the bottom. So we're going to get the, to those and uh, show you guys what's up down there. Take off all these things. Tens. Just a couple ten bolts. <clears throat> and then for these guys right here, I like to get a small flathead. Just pry it in on that tab. <clears throat> just pry from all four corners. And it just comes right out like that. Let me focus this for you. As soon as that's out, pull them out. And then you should do the same for the others and it should come right off. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the location of the two bottom fan bolts. So if you go right underneath the car, right here, right in front of this line right here, there's gonna be a bolt that's right here. And then there's another bolt on the left side, right underneath this hose right about here. Take those two out and you should be able to take off this fan, no problem. Okay, I forgot to mention, <clears throat> right where these cooler lines are underneath the car, you have to take, push them off the fan bracket right here in order to pull the fan up. So just kind of pull them out of the way so that when you pull up the fan, 
it doesn't get caught on it just like so and that's about it we should be able to pull the fan up easily now once you get your hose disconnected over here let me see if you can see that yeah your hose over here from the coolant intake <clears throat> go ahead and pull the any wires that are connected to the fan off Okay, move this hose aside, pull this wire harness up and over to the left so that it goes around the fan. You might want to bend this, ho this AC hose forward just a bit, we're going to have to bend it back later. And be very careful when taking this out because you can break this part very easily. Okay, now here comes the fun part, taking out the actual alternator. So there's going to be a power plug here and a ground cable. So you're going to take off the ground cable to 10 and pull out that power plug. But before you do that and start messing with the alternator, make sure you disconnect your negative battery terminal. So once we uh, get that off, I'll show you what's next. Let's see, the hardest part about this job is getting the bottom bolt of the alternator out. So if we look at the new one here, let me adjust my camera. Alternator sits like this. So the belt goes on right here and the bottom one is right here. There's only two bolts that hold it in. So the top one is easy, the bottom one this is very hard to access. Let me show you what I mean. There's very limited space in here. So you have to stick your hand in here and feel around for that bolt. See the alternator is right in, it's right here. So if you stick your hand down there, you'll feel the bolt. It's a 14 millimeter. I'm going to try to set it up with a uh, 14 deep 3 8 socket and see how it goes. Okay, so what I ended up having to do was, here's my socket and ratchet setup. I put it on there, since there's no leverage for a short ratchet, unless you have a long one. You uh, use a breaker bar, just like this, put it on the end of that ratchet, and it breaks loose, and you can pretty much just do it with your hand. So, after you break it loose, you can pretty much just turn it with your hand. Keep turning it, turning it. Make sure it's loose enough to uh, turn with your hand. And there we have it. The bottom bolt is out. Now we can start working that top bolt, which is right there. Just take this off here. And once you have both the bolts out, don't worry about the hose. It's not in the way. You can get a pry bar and just pry it at this top, this is the top part of the alternator from here and the valve cover head right here and just pry it out like that. I'll show you guys right now. Okay. So I got my pry bar set up here. I'm just gonna pry very lightly on it. And as you can see, it's starting to move already. So pry, pry, pry. And then eventually, it starts moving completely off. Pry, pry, pry. Just keep prying. And once you get enough leverage, you can stick it down in here and pry off the bracket itself. And as you can see, that alternate is moving completely. Okay, one crucial bolt that I, there's actually three bolts. One for the top, one for the bottom, and one behind the alternator next to the dipstick. So you have to remove the dipstick out of the way, bend this AC hose out of the way, and there's a 12. If you reach your hand in here and feel on the back side, there's a 12 millimeter bolt that holds it in. So let's get that one out. 
setup I'm going to use for that is a, uh, let's see what it's like a 8 inch extension with a U-joint and a short 12. So just so you can get in there at a corner angle and just bust it out. Okay, so I got the old one out. I do apologize. It was very difficult to get it out and film at the same time. Or else you'd just be watching a, me just fiddle, fidget and move things and go under. It's just a waste of time. So I'm going to give you a brief breakdown of how I got it out. You got to move this wiring harness out and over to the left. I had to unhook one of the connectors on the bottom. This connector right here, I unhooked that one and it gave me enough room to lift up and out of the way. And of course, after you get that back bolt, which is a 12, neck between the exhaust manifold and the uh, dipstick, take that one out <clears throat> and then you can wiggle it out. And um, you have to bend this AC pipe forward a little bit and then you can just barely pull it out from here. And uh, I do again apologize for not being able to show you how to do it, but uh, that's pretty much how you, how you get it through there. So um, let's see what the next step is. Okay, now you have to get the bottom bolt in first, because that's gonna be the hardest one. So you gotta stick your hand in between here and put the bolt in. Let me see if I can record this and show you guys. Okay, bottom bolt, here we go. So once you have the alternator kind of in place here, it's pretty free to move. You can uh, pretty much try and put the bolt in down there and see if it just goes in. So stick your hand here, put it down there, find the hole. All this is being is done blindly, so you kind of just have to work with it. Sometimes the alternator is a pain in the butt. It gets stubborn and won't move. But soon enough you will prevail as I have. So I found the hole. Just get some threads in there. Sometimes you can move it around so you can actually get it twisted all the way in with your hands. As I have. So as soon as you find that spot where it's loose, just keep threading it in as much as you can. Thread, 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 thread. And I'm not even going to bother with that back bolt because these two are sufficient enough to hold it. going to cause me more time and headache lost time lost and headache so now that you have that bottom bolt in go ahead and get your top bolt and you can place it in here and I just dropped it so move it around a little bit until it goes in and then thread it in And then for the tensioner to remove the belt, I just have a 14 wrench with a 16 attached to it. And you can move it freely if you don't have like a belt tensioner tool, which a lot of people don't have, I'm sure. So you can just use two wrenches. That'll get the, do the job done. And so that bolt is being stubborn. So what we're gonna do is force it in with my handy dandy ratchet and 14 here the, the uh, hose is going to be in the way but you can push it down just enough where you can get the ratchet on there and start ratcheting away Okay, so get that kind of tight, just snugged up, 
Okay, we won't forget to tighten that later, and then we're gonna get the bottom one tightened now. Okay, once you have your ratchet on there, you can kind of just slowly turn it. I'm using a deep 14 with a 3 8 ratchet. I'm just gonna keep going until it gets nice and snug. Once it gets snug, that's when you can use your cheater bar or breaker bar and tighten it down. I didn't see any videos on an RX350 alternator removal, so I thought I might go ahead and make one. Hopefully it gets millions of views and I become better than Chris Fix or all those other super famous or super popular mechanic guys. I like Chris Fix though, he's very detailed and his videos are great. Okay, so uh, once you pretty much uh, got your alternator tightened down, I got the top one and the bottom one tightened down. You're gonna put your dipstick back here. Make sure you stick it in back to the, uh, the hole that's down there because it'll come out. You don't want that to happen because you'll leak a bunch of oil. Just get that tightened down. And do a hand tight. Get any, any 12 will do. this in here and tighten it down it doesn't have to be too tight just tight enough and then since we loosened up the AC hose with the bracket that's down here I'm not sure if you could see it I'm gonna put that guy back it's just a 10 millimeter I'll go ahead and use my magnet. It's a little tight. Just to get it down in there. Just like that. Boop. Great. Okay. So put on the electrical connectors with the 10 mil plugged it back in took the tension off the belt or kept the tension put the belt back on then took the tension off and uh, put back our wiring harness the way it's supposed to go put it on this tab here there's another 10 bolt that's attached to the alternator there um, that's pretty much it so we've got the alternator and next we have to put the fan back in and then uh, we should be good to go here. Okay, so we got the fan back in. <clears throat> Remember, you gotta pull this this harness out and around it, the fan itself, and then you put your tens in on the side. And uh, the bottom ones and the bottom shroud. And that's how you do a alternator on a uh, 2000, I want to say 5 to 2008. So it's basically going to be the same thing um, for the, from that year <clears throat> to 2008 RX. I believe the 330s are a little bit different. They have a bolt tensioner instead of a hydraulic tensioner. Um, make sure you... Uh, Connect your battery, check all your connections, and um, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Till next time.